In this video, we'll look at the maximum magnification of the iPhone 13 Pro cameras. As most of you know, the iPhone 13 Pro has a macro mode on the ultra-wide camera. So I was wondering how it compares to a dedicated macro lens on the mirrorless camera or this little cheap adapter from China that you can put on any smartphone lens and get a macro mode. In the last 50 years, magnification has been defined by 35mm cameras. So 35mm cameras have a film size that's 36 millimeters by 24 millimeters. If you can take a sharp picture of object that's 36 millimeters in width and 24 millimeters in height, that would be one-to-one -one magnification. If you can take a sharp picture of a smaller object, it would be even higher magnification, like two to one. And if you can't focus so close, then it would be one to two or one to four, it depends on how close you can get. So I took a bunch of pictures of a ruler to see how close the iPhone cameras can get. The smallest picture you can take with the ultra wide camera is about 24 millimeters wide. So it's about 1.5 X in the full frame format. Here it's blurry. I'm gonna back up a little bit. I would say here it's still sharp. So the picture width is about 24 millimeters. The big problem with the macro is that while it can focus really, really close, so right now we are close to the minimum focusing distance, only about, I would say, a quarter of the image is sharp. Everything else is pretty blurry. The smallest image you can take with the wide camera is about 150 millimeters wide. So that's about one to four magnification. Now let's try the One X lens. As we get closer to the ruler, the camera will automatically switch to the ultra wide because that one has the shorter focusing distance. Right here, and as I go a little bit closer, it switches to the ultra wide. If you use the ultra wide lens in the one X mode, it digitally zooms and that gives you about 2.2 uh, image magnification with the image size of about 16 millimeters wide. So now I'm clicked in one X, but I'm actually taking pictures with the ultra wide. So now I can go really close. So let's see how close we can get. So still sharp, still sharp, still sharp. So this is a digital crop of the ultra wide. Still sharp. Still sharp. And I would say there it's getting blurry. Blurry, blurry. And I would say here it's sharp. And this is about as close as it gets. And the closest picture you can take with the telephoto camera is about 220 millimeters wide. That's about one to six magnification ratio. So we are still in the telephoto, telephoto, telephoto. There's still the telephoto. There's still the telephoto about 22 centimeters, and now it's switched. For comparison, this is a one-to-one -one macro lens for mirrorless crop cameras. So you can uh, do one-to-one -to, -one to the crop image size. What I find interesting is that the white camera on the iPhone XS can focus uh, down to image width of 90 millimeters. So it's about one to 1.25 uh, image magnification. So now we are on the iPhone XS, and I would say this is about as close as we can get. And that is closer focus and distance than the iPhone uh, 13 Pro Max. When you use the wide lens on the 10s with this little adapter, you can do go down to 15 millimeters image width. So this is the 10s with the Apex macro lens. This is about as close as we can get. And the image width is about 14 to 15 millimeters. And as with the 13 Pro macro lens, not all of the image is sharp. If you enjoy this content, don't forget to subscribe for more iPhone 13 Pro tips and tricks.